Good morning everybody. It's 4.50 in the morning. Nice and early. Part 2 of my vlog. As always, gonna go for a little swim. That's something I always do. Sunrise is getting a lot more early to now, so that's why we're up at, I'm up at 4.50. I haven't had a coffee yet, so I'm a little bit sleepy. I'm gonna make a coffee. Hope you enjoy another vlog of Luke Stoltman. What have we got today? We have a deadlift session. Big Tommy's back. He was at a wedding yesterday, so that'll be nice. Hope you had a nice time, Tom. It looked really nice, the wedding. Congratulations to Barry. I've got an interview with the STV News, which is a Scottish news channel regarding the NHS and stuff, so that's quite good. Get, getting some traction on that. We have a, a new uh, guy starting, or started at the office as well. You and he's doing the business side of things, which is great, so we'll get a wee chat with him. So I'm gonna make a coffee, and then we'll see you at the beach. We have made it to the beach. It's a bit overcast today, as you can see. Not the nicest, but it'll still feel nice when we go for a swim because it's cold water. Shawnee boys there. Hello. Oh, I can see through. Jeez, oh, <laughs> half five in the morning. Where else would you rather be? Big Tommy, where are you at? Come out and enjoy the wonderful weather and the wonderful feeling of cold water. We will see you after, and hopefully I'll be feeling a little bit more awake. Is us back in the house. Time for a little shower, I think. Feeling a lot more awake, which is nice. The wee doggies. Have you seen dogs? They're happy. I will derobe. I am derobed. Kushalia! Are you awake? Say hello. Oh my god, go away. Oh, charming as ever. Shower time. Shower finished, having a lot chill in bed with me kush kush. What's your plans today, babes? Going to the gym and then gonna go to Edinburgh. How the other half of going to Edinburgh leaving me. I've cooked all your meals though. We've got a little friend here. Say hello, Kyla. Oh, ow, ow. Good girl, Kyla. So, I'm gonna go get dressed and have some breakfast because she made me some overnight oats. I'm gonna have that, have my vitamins. I'll see you when we're having breakfast. Kyla. My bed's vibrating. Because she's eight sleep, mattress, bed is vibrating. So that must mean it's time to get up. I hope it's that vibrating anyway. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> A little bit more respectable. Breakfast, what have we got for breakfast? What have we got? Overnight oats. Have that, and then I have that with my... Uh, what about my protein? Three scoops of that, and that'll be breakfast done. I'll go make my little shake. Three scoops of the whey from my protein. Two and three. That's a lot of That's 
bien off. That's that done. The Kush puts in some of this, my protein flavour drops into this, the overnight oats, it really tastes quite nice. I've got these teas to take down to the office because the guy that starts you and he doesn't drink coffee. So we've got rose and lime flour, some paca English breakfast and some green tea. So we're going to take that down to you and, and hopefully that'll keep him happy because yesterday I was just drinking hot water which is really weird. It's just after seven o'clock in the morning, so this is kind of like my first breakfast. Probably go for breakfast again about 10 o'clock. This is breakfast, but second meal. A few people were asking about the, the dry robes. Just waiting on hopefully our final sample. The Stoltman robes, they're going to be called. Really excited. We're going to have like an embroidered Stoltman, and then on the back it's going to be like, uh, leave a legacy, I think that's what design we're going with. Yeah, super excited with them, because like I say, the, and this isn't a, a bad thing, uh, an attack on anyone, but some of the other robe companies, they are, they are awfully expensive, which a lot of people have commented on. We'll try and keep the price a little bit more, definitely below £100 anyway, that's what they're going to Yeah, look out for that. We've also ordered yesterday, I just we got the invoice for the, the purple jumper, I think that was a Leva Legacy with a quote, and then we've got a black jumper, um, new one that's ordered up as well. So we've got the purple hoodie, New black egg sweatshirt. Yeah, so quite excited for the, the merch. Donna Moore's stuff. Her stuff is coming quite soon, so we're going to have hers to stock as well. So, yeah, quite excited with the, the merchandise. Just want to keep growing, keep kind of doing different designs. I really like the, the purple jumper with the new Stoltman logo and then with the Leave a Legacy and then like a couple of bits in the back. I think that's really cool. And the same with the, the black sweatshirt that we're doing. That's got the two hands together and then with like a little quote, a couple of quotes from Tom and myself that we've said um, over the years. So I think that's really exciting. I, I really like some text and stuff on the back of a jumper if I'm wearing a sweatshirt or a hoodie. I think it looks quite cool. The Stolten robes, maybe another couple of months. So certainly in time for for winter, for anyone that's going swimming in the winter time. I know there is a lot of people doing the wild swimming, the, the cold water swimming. So we're looking forward to releasing them. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. So I'll do a time lapse now. To the office we go. What are we saying? Three weeks. Just under three weeks. See you later, doggies. Just under three weeks to go to World Songs. Man, gotta get, gotta get it. So, off we go. And the Sultan track. We will see you down the office. There's a big boat, big cruise liner, see, that was a cruise liner that we saw this, mor this morning at the swim. In we go. <coughs> Give Ewan his tea, so there's Ewan's tea. You're welcome Ewan, decent. So we did, so we'll get set up. 22 minutes past seven, uh, Tuesday morning. Basically what I do when I come in here, go through emails, um, check the merchandise, see how that went yesterday, have a wee look at the, the YouTube, see how that's performing, we've got sponsors, need to kind of plan that. There's a few different things going on just now in terms of grants we might be applying for, that's where Ewan's in, so Ewan's in more to do the business side of things, so like a, almost like a business management consultant, so he's going to put some structure in the place. I tried to get this, the company or the business that we've got a little bit more legit, if that makes sense. Myself and Tom, Harry, Simon, Gabs, and now Ewan uh, on through the business. If we're going to be taking on more people, it's just that structure. The grants we're looking at is possibly to 
you know, three year plan. You know, kind of like what Brian's doing just now. You know, build a purpose built facility. He's got his gym, he's got his warehouse, he's got his studios, podcast room, etc, etc. So that's what we're trying to put things in place. So three year plan, would that would be pretty awesome. It might happen next year. We might be in a position where we could do it next year or whenever, I don't know. We just have to go with, with how things go. So I'll do a wee chat about these posters as well. We're working alongside a guy that does also Eddie Hall's art. So these are the posters that we do. I think they're pretty cool. That's one. And then another one that's just come out is the this one here. I think that's pretty smart. That's Stoltman Arts. Really happy with how that's going. That's really cool. The guy that does it, Jack, quite a talented guy. We're going to be at an expo. I think it's Fit Expo down in Liverpool. We'll be there. Hopefully Jack will be along with his posters as well. I've got flights to book as well for Dan and Simon for World's Strongest Man, so they're coming out to World's Strongest Man. We've booked flights for Cushy and Sinead, they're coming also. I believe Jordan's coming out to record for the documentary, or the second documentary. I'll just crack on. Anyway, I'm gonna get into it and we'll chat in a bit. Yeah, look, I'm in line with the stars, I'm in sync with the earth. Ten toes deep, flower child from the turf. I never switch sides, like even when I die, I'm a ride for the squad, let her ties in the hearse. I've been on a vibe kind of hard to describe. I'm in between, I'm good. Emails and stuff been busy. Simon's hard at, at it. <laughs> What are you up to, Simon? Just sorting out emails and that. <laughs> Look at that computer phone, jeez. Who's that from? Of course, sir. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Who's this guy? I just enjoyed it and did a couple of jobs. Let's do a lot done for you. That should be good to go, guys. How long did that take to do you? Uh, I've been at that for a couple of weeks. We need the extra strengthening for the for the boys, you know, they're a bit, bit bigger than our usual clients. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made it up on the wall already, have not you? Oh, that's the thing. After two weeks of joinery work, there he is, on the top tier as well. Has he left an impression? Who's that? There's the boss there, so everyone realises the authority. There's the boss, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you doing in the office, then? Are you coming on board with us? Um, well, you know... Usually it's just tables and things like that. <laughs> but, uh, I see a lot of potential in the in the business, you know, just being over looking over Simon's shoulder, having a look at the emails and some of the figures there on the app, you know. On the app. So it might be time to hang up the uh, hang up the tools. Wallet. <laughs> Come off the tools. Yeah, uh, I get that crash crash course in IT with Simon, learning uh -huh. how to do computers and stuff. Did you uh, did you put that computer together with a mallet? <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah, well, yeah. Did, did you know you could put together computers with mallets? Huh? No, I didn't. You hate being on the camera. I hate being on the camera. And there's notepad. Don't look at that though. Don't look at the hard drive. <laughs> Don't say that, probably. The pre thermo Ryan Terry, the Arnold champion. And then there's me. Not really a champion. Yeah, so it was you and the joiner. It's nice to have him in. Oh, you're reading a book, mate. What are you reading? What's that? Oh, sorry, I was just doing a, doing a wee bit of research, you know? Oh, Finding so out how to get m absolutely massive. <laughs> <laughs> What's that book? Does that book let you get massive? This is the German volume training there. Uh, oh, was his name Milo? Yeah, Milo. Rebuilding. Ah, yeah. good. That's interesting. So we reckon you can add about a foot or so in height within the first month, 40 kilograms per day, ideally, really? if you follow the diet correctly and the training plan. Seems pretty legit. Yeah, so there you go. Good addition to the business then. Yeah. So is that all you're going to do is just like get massive? I get absolutely massive and then we'll put our own name, Stoltman Brothers, in front of this book. Ah. And then uh, make it into a training plan. Good. Apps, books, posters, holidays. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh oh, Harry's talking about coding. Yeah, uh -oh. coding and that. Whoa. Hacking and <laughs> Whoa. We're going to have some food and then I've got a little interview with a news channel in Scotland. We're gonna change things around these parts. Just had the interview with the news, which was good. Big thank you to Nicola. It was great chatting to them. Tom is on his way home, which is good. So he had a, a good time down at the wedding. Kush is away down to Edinburgh. I said she's getting her teeth done, I think down in Newcastle. Um, so she's staying in Edinburgh for a night. 
staying in a fancy little spa hotel. And if you're watching this, Goose, I don't believe how much it cost. I think it cost more than you said. Anyway, I was going to record an interview, but it didn't feel right. Um, it'll be going out in the news, STV, I think, tomorrow. I'm just talking about how I feel and stuff. But like, we've got like MPs, we've got councillors, we've got people that are elected to do this type of stuff but they're not talking about it. I, I really don't understand it. I don't understand why like people aren't making more of a noise. I get that I've got a, like a, a profile and stuff, but the more people talk about the the kind of uh, the rubbish that we're getting as part of the NHS, part of being up here, being whatever, whatever it is that you guys are experiencing the same problems as we're feeling, start shouting about it, start taking the social media, start, I don't know, do a protest, start protesting. We can protest about anything, all the other protests that was going on through lockdown, so why can't we protest that something about something that really matters to us? Like, our mum's not getting the right care, our dad's not getting care, we're not getting it, this and this and this and all this stuff. So, say, it's not acceptable. These people that are taken on to run these jobs or do these jobs that are supposed to be making things better obviously aren't working. Or maybe they are. Maybe these new people that have come in in the last couple of months are. But certainly before, it wasn't working. It's absolutely ridiculous. People of power aren't talking about it. Instead, we're just standing there clapping. Good job. It's, it's not. Uh, we need to take accountability and it's not okay. The people in the front line, the, people, the doctors, the nurses, the receptionists, you know, they're doing all the best they can do, I'm sure, apart from a few people. But it's the people that are running it. It's like, why are you running it so bad? Hey, you must be smart, you must be like intelligent. Is money just the issue? Is that it is? You just, you're that greedy that you just want money over people's health. You'd rather see someone die than give them the proper treatment. Is that the case? I don't know. Like we have these locum doctors up here. They've come away from the GPs and then they've come back as these kind of contractors because they're getting more money. Is that what the NHS and the GP surgeries now are? Is it just a business, just a a money-making thing because that's not okay. It's frustrating. It's, it's so frustrating because, yeah, it's just been gone for a long time and I feel annoyed at myself for not saying something sooner, but what can you do? It is what it is. Anyway, I've got some food. Before Kush went away, she made me a little packed lunch, which was really nice, so I'm going to eat that. Dish now. What have we got? You want to see inside my box? Oh! Beef burgers. i just spilled a little bit. Beef burgers potatoes, some veg. Just a little rant I had there. I just I just think, you know when you think things and you just, not a rant, but I think it's justified because it ha it's happening to too many people all around the country. So this whole, we're busy. I, I don't get that. And is, it, is that an excuse or oh, we're just really busy? Or I get if you're understaffed, but, and I get if you can't see people, but if you're seeing people and misdiagnosing people, then that's not okay. If you're just sending them off with painkillers because you think a bit of painkillers will cure a cancerous tumour, stage 4 tumour. It's not okay. Take accountability of what you do and your actions. And then we'll have a little bit more respect for everyone, I think. Anyway, I'm going to go eat my food. I'd love for us to be able to like, do something up here. Build like a centre or... I don't know, everyone's like, oh, it's not that easy. You need to have staff, you need to do this. But if you provide a, like, a cool place or a nice place for people to work, if not... Like idiots. If you don't have idiot doctors or an idiot doctor ruining everything, and surely people will come because it's standing up here, it's so chilled, it's so nice. Remember that saying, make America great again. It was like, make America great again, whatever that was. Like, let's make Scotland great again. Let's make Scotland great. That's what I would love. Anyway, I'm going to eat my food. This is the last, last bit of my food. Thank you for listening to Ramblings of Luke Stoltman. I'm going to go chill out because I'm being an idiot. Anyway, chat soon. And so we are going to train. The deadlift ladder to train for today. Just had a little rest, we nap, which was nice. Very well, very much needed actually. It was quite a, a bit tired today. Um, <coughs> take you in the car. Ugh. See what Tom was up to in the last couple of days. And also I need to clean the back of my car. Look at the sand. It's disgusting. I had the dogs at the beach the other day, so I'll do the gym, clean the car, and maybe go for a cheeky sunny. We'll see you down the gym. We're in the gym. Gonna do some vlogging. 
Mr. Minagi. <laughs> Milwaukee Nagi. Who's the next wall? What's, what's my name? Sean Clark. <laughs> there we go, we're doing deadlifts. Thank you, motherfucker, for the amazing plates. Tom's never happy, is he? Quite the happy. I'm trying. And he's rough. We're feeling dizzy because somebody ties, puts the suits on very tight. Dizzy blood. Last warm up set on the Mirafit plates done. Dizzy. Deadlifts done, went okay, nothing special. Could have been better, could have been worse. So. Tom's went really well, Tom smashed it. My dad is out doing the garden, he's cutting the grass. Well, he was cutting the grass and now he's weeding. Went back to the office after training, uh, had a chat with Ewan, our other friend Lewis was here, chatted with him. Um, and now I'm going up to pick up Chris from the blood, blood labs. He's coming up to do our bloods for World Strongest Man. Um, so we'll get all that done. Hopefully get a wee IV drip as well, which will be good. That'll be pretty much it tonight. I'm going to get some food. Haven't really filmed much of me eating today. So yeah, a good day, busy day. A little bit longer than expected. It's quarter to eleven at night now, so you can see the time. A little bit sleepy. Jeez, I was expecting to be home earlier. Never mind, it is what it is. Just picked up Chris. Um, so we're going to get our bloods and stuff done tomorrow, which is amazing. Um, having someone like, like get those guys, Chris, on board um, is uh, is so much appreciated because it's, you know, they come up, he comes all the way up here just to see us. It makes a big difference, you know, for our prep for Worlds and everything. So huge shout out to the, to the Blood Lab for doing what they do with us and also with all the rest of the guys from Giants Live. I think it's incredible. So I think I will get off to my bed soon. I'm just going to have a little snacky scooby snack. Cheeky burrito. Mm. Supplements before bed. Smelly crow. Oh. Oh. Omegas. <laughs> it is the 3rd of May, so about 20 days before World's Strongest Man. We have behind the neck press tomorrow. I am looking extremely tired, feeling extremely tired. I'm going to go off to my bed. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Little vlog, little day in the life off. Stay tuned for the next video. As always, stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs>